and gentlemen, welcome to another tutorial for Logic uh, Pro X or 10, whichever. Today we've got another wonderful, exciting, brilliant tutorial. Okay, maybe it's not those things, but hey, we're going to learn something along the way. Today we're going to talk about buses and what the cool things buses can do for you on your track, making it easier for you to arrange your arrangement, uh, to apply effects to multiple tracks at the same time without having to copy and paste your automation and stuff like that. Basically what you're doing is routing your sound from certain instruments into one channel where you've got your effects and stuff set up. So we're gonna I'll just play this for you here. This is something I'm working on for my new track. And what I'm wanting to do is uh, apply a a low cut filter around this area here just going up to lead into the second part here. Uh, so I'm going to set that up, I'll talk you through it, and also uh, I'm going to set up an Effectrix as well just to show you more what I'm doing because with the low cut it's kind of generic so, but with the uh, Effectrix I can show you and you'll be able to see what it's doing more I suppose so anyway I'll play this so you get a feel for what we're, uh, what we're going towards here. So yeah, like I say, in this part here, we want like a kind of low cut ramp filter going on. So what we're going to do is we've got these. Let's uh, listen to these individually. I believe this is my pad. Yeah, this kind of leading uh, lead here, which is pumping with my LFO tool here, which I'm using to as a kind of side chain kind of thing. Got our bass, very low bass. And then we've got like kind of a supporting lead here. Right, and what we want to do is we want to bring up our mixer. You can find that by pressing this up here or you can press X to bring up your mixer. So if you click it here, it'll highlight it down here for you. We'll bring it up so we've got a bit of room to see here. So what we want to do, like I say, these are your buses here, your sends. So as I say, you're sending the audio signal to its own tr uh, another channel. I've already got some set up here for other effects and stuff like that, but all you do to add a new uh, bus is hold here, go to bus, and we're going to send it to bus one. You can send it to anything that's not already got something written next to it. Uh, like these have already uh, effects that I've already got set up for certain things. So. We're going to choose bus 1. I know it says auxiliary 5 there, but that's because I've done this before I did the uh, tutorial just to kind of run through it myself. So I'm going to choose bus 1, but you could choose any you want. It doesn't really matter. So you've got bus 1 there. Right, now, nothing will have happened as of now. If you were to play your sounds, nothing would change. You would Everything would be the same. But if you scroll to the end of your... Uh, well, it, it will be on the end, but like I say, I've already been messing about with mine, so mine's here. This is my bus one here. Right? So, what's happening now is the audio... It, well, it isn't at the moment, but what we're going to be setting up is the audio is going to be sent from here to here. Let me just get rid of that, because that's part of the tutorial. Right, so what you want to do, you've set up, you've chosen your bus one, so audio from here, you go here. But at the minute, it's kind of muted, so you have to get this little wheel and turn it up to zero. I can uh, you can double click it and just put zero in there. Just to get you started. I mean you can tinkle with this tinkle. Is that a word? Tink yeah tinkle's a word. You tinker with this once you've uh, got this set up. So now what's gonna happen is that audio, if you were to play it as you can see it's playing here and here at the same time. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the audio is playing through here and it's playing through there, so you're going to get double the amount of sound. So what you want to do is mute this channel that's sending the audio. So today, you just uh, at the minute, it's coming out, output, stereo output. So you just click and hold that, click no output. Now what you're going to get is the audio is only going to come through this bus channel. 
It's, it's still showing, it's coming through here, but in fact it's coming through here. So that's just the pads, just coming through there on that bus on its own. Right, and now we just want to do that for each one of these, these different tracks that I want to send to this bus. So again, we just go to bus one, la da da, put change that to zero and mute so it's not coming through our stereo output same again for this bus one zero mute the output that's our base this is our supporting lead so again bus bus one change that to zero mute the output so now if i so uh, take off that solo if i just solo our, bu our bus channel here that we created auxiliary five what we should hear now is just these tracks playing on their own. As you can see there, the green there, because it's showing you that that's what's, what's going to be playing. So when I press play, all the audio from them tracks are just coming through on their own. We haven't got all our drums, and ex uh, uh, drums etc., which aren't muted. Well, they are muted because we've soloed uh, this off. But So to get back to our original... Uh, the original point of what we were doing this for. We want to go to a EQ, single band EQ, and it already defaults to the low cut filler here. So we can put that to zero. Right, and now what you want to do to get your, to be able to automate the uh, the frequency here, which is exactly what we're wanting to do, the ramp that I was talking about earlier, what you want to do is change this to latch. And then if you just play a bit of your music and move something on this channel, with this, uh, this single band EQ, what it's going to do is put automation onto our arrangement for us so we can visualize it and then say it'll pinpoint exactly where we want things. So I'll play that here and just move this along. Right, read, right, that should have put that. There it is, look. So it's popped that. We've got a new track here. Sorry, I had that, uh, I had that covering it, but what it's done is created that track there. It's created this auxiliary five, and if we go into automation mode, you can do that by uh, pressing this button up here or pressing A. See, if we close this to uh, select our frequency here, it's popped that in. That's what I did there. When I moved that, it's just automated, it wrote that in there and thing. So, what we want to do is get rid of these. Uh, go away. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Cancel. So, if you select that. All these automation lines right there. You can only lower it to 20, but that's fine. You can't really tell the difference. So what we want to do, like I say, is make a little ramp. and get rid of that now. From there. Oh, not to there. Go away. Right. want it here to line up with there. And it's just a case of uh, making the adjustments you want to make to the frequency. So let's listen to that bit there, see if, how that sounds. What we should hear now is a low cup filter happening it should go from 20 to 1060, back down to 20, and that's the effect that I was going for. So let's hear if we get that, that effect. So yeah, I heard that, but I want it to sound a bit more filtery. So what I'm gonna do is bring it in a bit more earlier. And then kind of last for longer too. So let's hear that. It's still not quite right, so let's uh, get rid of that bit. And that's exactly what I was going for. So, now, as I was saying before, I'm going to show you doing it with Effectrix as well. I've done, I've covered this uh, plugin on a separate tutorial um, a while back. So if you want to check this uh, out in more detail, this plugin that I'm about to show you, feel free to click. Uh, I'll put a little annotation up here and you can click on that and it'll take you to that video where it shows it in a bit, bit more uh, bit more detail. So what it is it Sugarbytes Effectrix. And what I've done there is I've added it to the Auxiliary 5 channel. That is our channel with all the audio from these four channels into that one. So like I said before, this makes it easier for us because we can apply effects 
without having to apply it to all four. So if I was to, like, I'll just put that there. Uh, we'll put it on eighth step. If I was to put that there now, all four of those tracks are going to do that effect altogether when I've only writ wrote the actual effect on one channel. It makes it easier. So I'll listen to this now and you'll, uh, you should be able to hear it. There you go, we can select something else, so you can just, uh, well actually we'll just choose a random thing. I think you get a picture anyway, it's going to play through all the different effects here on those four channels, not affecting anything else, just those four channels, and we can easily write effects that we want to apply to multiple things without having to you know, duplicate them or redo them on each track. So again... <laughs> Man, I love this plugin. It's so great. All right. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's kind of the the drift I wanted to get across in this uh, this tutorial. It is the power of buses is unbelievable. Unbelievable, rather. If you apply the same technique to multiple effects and stuff like that, uh, the possibilities are endless. You can save yourself so much time. You can save yourself so much uh, effort in, like, say, copying uh, the automation across and stuff like that. It's just, it's just an unbelievable thing. The, the, it was great. It's great that uh, Logic has these kind of capabilities. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now because I'm kind of waffling on like I tend to do in all my videos. So I hope you learned here, some learned something here, guys. If you didn't, uh, let me know. If you did, let me know even even better. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see for more videos. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for your continued support and questions that you send in through messages or. Um, comments. You can also add me on Twitter at Nate B Sounds if you want to get uh, straight through on Twitter there. Uh, yeah, and that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>